Chuck Karstensen, Course in Miracles, number 49. And I'm going to continue with what I've been talking about the last couple episodes. And I'd like to remind you at this time, if you're a first-time listener or even a repeat listener, we have these recordings on Chuck Karstensen YouTube channel. I normally post them on my social media too, like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, and then also they're on my podcast, Real Life Impacts. So you can always go back and listen to any episode. They're very, very brief. Quick listen. If you had a goal of like listening to the 10 podcasts a week, you could probably get mine done all under an hour and be like, yes, I listened to 10 podcasts. So I've been rotating back between the Course in Miracles and the 2024 Real Estate Shift Show. As many of you know, I am a realtor, uh, help coach sixth grade basketball, and then into my spiritual studies and growth and personal growth as well. So that is what I want to you know help other people with, um, business, spiritual, and then the kids with basketball. And of course, anybody that comes across my path, I'm happy to help them the best I can. And like I've been saying in these videos recently, I'm also learning and growing and, and, and teaching and helping myself. So one of the the video 47 i had like a stumble video 48 i was really talking about and correcting a little bit of what i was struggling to speak about in lesson 47 so i'm going to stick right there with the meaning of miracles like chapter 1 point 22 where the darkness is in our life and here here's what it really is the world seems to determine what our thoughts are, like what we think is kind of how we see things happening. So the darkness is that we're, our thoughts and our, what we're seeing in our life and what's happening in our life is the world, right? It's what's, what we're going through, but we are not always seeing the spiritual light, which I focused more on last time. So one of the episodes, it was probably like 43, 44, somewhere in there, I talked about how I studied the course. I touched on it a little bit last time, but one of the things I do daily now is a daily lesson. There is a workbook for students with a daily lesson. I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into that as well. And the lessons are very short, and I listen to the audio right now, and then I do them two, three, four, five times a day, very, very short, one to two minute type of lessons. And the last couple lessons were like lesson 10 was like that the thought the thing we're thinking about is meaningless like i close my eyes kind of kind of clear my mind almost like a meditation and you get thoughts and during the day you get thoughts and in those thoughts sometimes point you in a, a good path good positive thoughts sometimes your thoughts go negative sometimes their thoughts negative about other people which is sort of what i was trying to address last time sometimes they're negative about yourself negative about your life and hopefully they're good thoughts but if they're not good thoughts, but even if there are good thoughts, lesson 10 was basically these thoughts are meaningless. So I would be like closing my eyes, take a breath, and like whatever I was thinking about that I, for me, it was a lot like, why am I thinking about this? So, so I, I do the lesson. This is probably one lesson I passed. I bet the other nine, I, I'd probably get like a C plus on them. But this one, I felt like, hey, I'm getting like almost an A on it. Uh, but, but probably not. <laughs> anyway. These thoughts I'm having are meaningless. And the reason for that thinking is that then you can change your beliefs. You can change what you're actually seeing happen in the world, what you think should happen in the world, what's driving you crazy, or what you're focusing on that may not be a great value or great importance, especially in the spiritual walk, that can start to help you to change it. And you have to do a little bit of a lesson each day. So today's lesson, lesson 11, which I'm recording this a couple days before I post this out. You're probably figuring that out, but now I've mentioned that before. Um, meaningless thoughts, I'm reading it a little bit. Meaningless thoughts are showing me a meaningless world. And again, you might be like, why would you say this world is meaningless? And how is this actually helping me? Well, you're undoing your thoughts, your misperceptions about the world. Do you have to undo everything? I don't know. I'm not sure what your thoughts are. But if you give certain energy, the thoughts that really don't help you, and there a lot of times are illusions are meaningless, and sometimes they're really insane, like literally why you think about that stupid stuff. So, <laughs> so if you can learn to undo that, 
and learn what is true meaning, which is truth, which I'm working toward. I'm not some expert, just some person doing a video that's working on it that has my struggles, but hoping it helps a few people that I share it with people that listen. We're like, oh, now that makes a little bit more sense. Or Chuck's interesting or Chuck's boring. It doesn't really matter. It's meaningless. It's all right. I'm fine with it. So I'm more or less explaining what I'm working on in the lessons, but then back to the meaning of miracles is a lot of times, like I talked about in the last episode, we need forgiveness for the healing, but we're holding something back against our brother, against our sister, and you're going to have that thought. And you maybe are trying to let go and trying to forgive and trying to move on. You're going to have that thought. And you might have to say, hmm, these thoughts are meaningless. Meaningless thoughts are just showing me a meaningless world. So that meaningless thought is showing you something that may not happen. Are you somebody who ever thinks that somebody's thinking something about you that they're not thinking about you and you're projecting it and it's driving you a little bit crazy or ruining your day or you get the email or you get a letter, or you get a voicemail and it takes part of your energy, sucks a little life out of you. Meaningless thoughts are showing you a meaningless world. Yes, in the short term, it might actually have some meaning. I get it, I get it, I get it. Not arguing with that. However, long term, way far view has no meaning. Okay, for sure, 100%. Um, so that's a little insight, but also as somebody works through forgiveness, which we all need to do, meaningless thoughts are showing you a meaningless world, and that thought is meaningless that's bothering you. Okay. Hope that helps. Hope that gives you some healing or towards heaven instead of away from heaven and towards the healing and towards the forgiveness. Have a blessed day.